Welcome back guys. Welcome to From the Broom Closet. I am Songbird Fireheart. And tonight I decided I would give you a little tour of my broom closet. So this is my broom closet under the stairs. Very Harry Potter like. So I've got my altar. And I've got my sort of little decorations. All of my favorite things. Usually, whenever my hubby can't find something around the house, it's usually found its way into the broom closet. And so he's gotten pretty used to certain herbs and spices just living here. I've got a couple of friendly little spiders that are hanging around in here at the moment because it's cold outside and while usually I would not be caught dead in a room with as many spiders as I actually have in here right now but the funny thing the moment I became a witch my arachnophobia became less of a phobia. Now, by all means, I'm not gonna go picking up that little guy over there. No, because in my opinion, he's not so little. And I'm not too comfortable with him being, you know, touchably close. However, however, you know, he's helped to keep my room free of spiders and other assorted things, so. They're all right for now. They stay away from me and then I'll, I'll let them be. This is my, my broom closet. And this is where I steal away to whenever I'm doing my rituals and stuff like that whenever I can't do my rituals outside mostly sadly my broom closet usually during the summer spends most of its time being unused I actually just came in and redid my altar because the last time I had set up this altar was back during Ostra so I still had my bunnies and such and so while it only got set up for fall for a very short period of time, soon it'll be set up for Yule. But I figured I would take an opportunity to show you guys what I got going on in here. My assorted tools. This was the first knife that I got. It was actually one of my very first witchcraft tools. It was the one that I felt the most drawn to, especially because of its symbolism. Very much love the thistles. And then this was the first wand that I made. My children have made me plenty since then, but this one is my main one that I keep here on my altar. It only gets used very rarely if I if I need the extra energy boost or if I really need to direct it. Most of the time I'm sending out energy, not so much drawing it in. And this is the cauldron that 
my husband actually found for me at the thrift shop we'd gone in and he found that there for me for two dollars I'd been trying to find one online and it was it was one of those things where I wasn't really feeling overly witchy in the beginning without all of those tools when you first start into witchcraft a lot of these big rules and and books and everything will tell you how vital the tools are and how very very little you will accomplish without them and for a very beginner witch that can be very disappointing especially when usually these same sites that are telling you that you have to have these expensive tools generally offer those exact same expensive tools on their sites to sell and that to me just seems in its own way just less than you know it's hard to tell somebody that they're not going to do well unless they're buying something from you and not seem a little bit like a door-to-door -door salesman so the way I've always worked my witchcraft has has became very much about hunting down deals finding things that that nobody else is going to be able to have right away it's not something you can just walk into Walmart pick up off the shelf and know that there's gonna be a couple million people out there that have the exact same product I like my thrift shops I like my flea markets and I like my yard sales I love finding some of these really cute intricate little things you know this belonged to my grandmother and she'd got it at a yard sale and it's just one of the most beautiful little pieces I mean look at the pattern on that it's so pretty and so to me it just is so witchy and so it holds my salt on my altar along with a snake skin shed that I found. We have a couple of garter snakes that uh, that have been around in our property now for a couple of years and this was a shed from last fall that I actually got to see the snake this year and I've got another shed kicking around here somewhere but it was, it was much larger this year than it was last year and so it's been it's been nice to be able to collect these things from my own yard mostly either things that I've grown or things that I have found in the wilderness while I'm out for my nature walks and so I've just got my my closet all set up in my own little way So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour of my broom closet and keep coming back for lots of interesting witchcraft related footage all right have a good night guys and catch you in the next video